Breaking now, the Osceola Sheriff giving new insight into what led two of his deputies to open fire outside a busy target one week ago. A 20-year-old was killed and another man was left with life-changing injuries. We're glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. As we get those details from the sheriff, even more questions are coming up. All of this comes as the attorney for the man who was killed and one of the men who was injured speaks out. News 6 is Jerry Askin is following the story for us from Osceola County tonight. Jerry? Lisa, good, good evening. After refusing to answer our questions for a week, Sheriff Lopez finally releasing some information today after we pressed. But there are still many questions like what led up to the shooting. In a statement today emailed out, Lopez revealed in part that before the shooting, several deputies were training in a parking lot nearby. He said they were wearing tactical gear and no one, no body cameras were worn by initial deputies. He said the suspect stole items from Target and then got into a vehicle, and that's when deputies tried to detain them in a car. Now, those details are stark contrasts from earlier when we spoke with the sheriff after an event today in Kissimmee when he again dodged our questions. I turned it over to the Department of uh, Florida Department of Law Enforcement so they could do their investigation. Once that investigation is concluded, then we'll talk about it. We'll have all the facts and we'll go forward from there. Okay. Other agencies but that's, have that's that's all I'm sta stating today. Other agencies okay? have released this Thank information you. before. Why not your agency? Like I said, I just explained it. What part of that don't you get? Yeah, and right now we are in downtown Orlando because the attorneys representing 20-year-old Jaden Baez gave us new information, too. They said Baez was the driver of that car, and he was the one shot and killed by deputies. Now, he said Osceola deputies followed the teens around that target and watched them leave the store after two of them allegedly stole pizza and Pokemon cards less than $40. He said when the men got back in the car, several unmarked deputies uh, boxed them in and ended up opening fire without even identifying who they were. The attorney said it killed bias. They also gave us this picture of 19-year-old Joseph Lowe, who they say was also in the car, shot six times in his hands. He remains now in a hospital bed. Not only was the driver killed on the spot, from what we understand, by a hail of bullets, but Joseph Lowe, 19-year-old Joseph Lowe, put his hands up. What does that reflect? Stop. I have nothing in my hands. Or nothing's going on. It's, I'm innocent. And nevertheless, he was shot three times in one hand, three times in another hand. Yeah, and back live here from downtown Orlando, I'm putting together a lot more from that family press conference, and we're asking Sheriff Lopez more questions. That's for News 6 at 6 o'clock. Reporting live, Jerry Askin, getting results, News 6.